Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I want to show you the best way to export your images in Photoshop with no color change and also export sharp images. So in this tutorial, I want to show you two different ways to save or export your images in Photoshop after doing skin retouching and you retain those colors and when you post the images, they don't change in color or when you print those photos, they don't change in color. So this is going to be a very important and most helpful tutorial and if at all you feel like this is going to be a helpful video i just request that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to so many people out there so we're just going to kick in and we start learning about the very first and more important technique and this is going to be this so when you want to save an image after doing skin retouching you're just going to come to file for people that have older versions of photoshop you have the option that says save for web legacy so first of all come right here to export and you come to save for web legacy and for all the older versions you may be having that option right around here so just come to export and come to save for web legacy so just waiting for that window to load up in a bit and when it loads up you're going to be feeding in some specific settings to have a very nice and very sharp image after or at the end of our retouching process so what we basically want to do we're just going to come and make sure that we have our photo in this window right here and now we have the settings for this image and now you can see we have a JPEG of course we want to always export our images as JPEG files so just come and select JPEG and the quality of course we need a very high or maximum quality because we need the base out of or the extreme of the quality of the image then come to the quality of course we need a hundred percent now the other thing make sure to select optimize you make sure that optimize is checked and also embed the color profile so when you embed the color profile it means that every single color that you embedded in the photo and how you color graded the image it means that that is going to be embedded within your photo and also convert it to srgb you know some devices or some platforms or websites are going to be supporting this kind of profile so to be on the safe side embed the color profile that is for the adobe photoshop and also convert that to srgb for people that have devices that support srgb as a color space and now after doing that we're just going to come down to where it says image size and under image size we have the quality and of course we need to sharpen the image slightly and under that just make sure to select by cubic sharper so what this is going to do it is going to sharpen for us the image so remember you have done skin retouching and now you just want to sharpen the image slightly when you're saving it so this is going to add some tiny bit and more progressive kind of sharpening after we have been able to retouch the photo so make sure to select or choose this option under quality and after doing that usually i don't tamper with this because my images really don't have so much to do with this image size i only tamper with the by cubic sharper option and after doing that just come to we have three options right here we have save cancel and done so don't choose done because this is going to close this window and not save your image so just come here and hit save so when you hit save you can choose where you want to save the image for example this is the image name you can rename it if at all you wish to and also choose a location and the format of course we just want images only and leave it right the way it is right here and choose a location like i said and just come and hit save and your image is going to be saved and you know won't be having those issues that your image is going to be changing in color or you have a blur image after doing skin retouching or after spending all that time trying to retouch the image so this is the very first case and this is for people basically who have older versions and newer versions and the other technique is going to be I'm just going to cancel everything the other technique is going to be for those 
that have newer versions of Photoshop or people that have Photoshop CC and CC around 2018 and onwards. So how we have to save in the second option, you have to come back to file, export, and you come down to export as. So when you come down to export as, we're going to be having another window right here. So we're just going to be having another window right here. So I'm just trying to reset everything the way it was meant to be. So that we can learn and understand everything. So we are just going to wait for this window to load. So just give it some time to load. And when it is done loading, it is going to show your image in this preview right here. So as we go through these file settings, you can see we have format, quality, width, height, scale, resample, canvas size, metadata, and the color space. So what we want to be handling, we are just going to be handling a section in the file settings, the image size, and we are just going to be handling the color space for the photo. So basically what we want to do, come to the format and choose the format for your image. And for this case, I want the image to be exported as a JPEG because JPEG photos or files are really supported by most social media platforms and websites and also supported on various devices. The quality, of course, I want the quality all the way to 100%. And the image size, I make sure I leave this the way it is. And the scale, of course, I need to leave the scale at 100%. Then resample, I want it to be slightly sharpened after we have been able to uh, export or save the image at the end of it also. I'm just going to come and select the resample tool by Cubic Sharper. So when you select by Cubic Sharper, it means that this is going to be slightly sharpened progressively after we have been able to export it or when we are being or doing the process of exporting the image. And after doing that, we're just going to come to the metadata. You can as well add some corporate information to your image if at all you embedded it in the photo. So usually I leave it at none. Then under color space, if at all you don't want the image to change color when you post it online or on social media or when you put it on a different device, it means that we have to convert it to sRGB because some devices or websites support the color space of sRGB and also embed the color profile, meaning whichever adjustment that we apply to the image during the processing or the color grading is going to be embedded in this photo. So after doing all this, anything is going to be coming to export. So when you hit the export button, it brings up another window right here and you have to select the image name and also choose where you want to save the image. And after doing that, you can just come and save your image in that location. So basically, this is how to save very nice and sharp images after doing skin retouching so that you don't encounter those problems of color change. And if at all you found this video really helpful, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all you have been watching and you don't subscribe this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.